Next. Now, number four to six. Yan. So, to illustrate yung initial measure, initial and subsequent measurement. So, gawa natin dito ng entries. Yan. Okay. So, number four and number five, silent. Okay. So, hindi sinabi kung anong classification ng investment. Again, kapag investment in equity instrument, so in this case, investment in ordinary shares, the default classification, FBTPL. So, doon sa number 6, in-specify. Fair value true OCI. Now, to answer 4 and 5, okay, and also for emphasis, gawa natin ito ng journal entries. Okay, so again, since... The problem is silent. Hindi sinabi kung anong classification ha. FB, TPL. Okay. So the following information pertains to the investment in ordinary shares of Entity X. On December 1, 2022, the entity acquired ordinary shares of Entity A for 200000 Transaction cost 3000 so, FBTPL, initial measurement, fair value, which is usually equal to the purchase price, excluding transaction cost. So, entry. Okay, to record the acquisition. Debit, equity investment. Okay, classification, FBTPL at fair value. The transaction cost paid expenses. Okay, expense in profit or loss. Okay, credit, total amount paid, cash. Okay, so initial and subsequent measurement, the same. Fair value. On December 31, 22, fair value, 208. Transaction cost that would be incurred on sale estimated at 32. Do not deduct transaction cost. Kasi pag dinidak natin yung transaction cost na yan, hindi na yan fair value. So ang tawag na fair value less cost to sell. That is a different measurement basis. So initial and subsequent, fair value. Okay? So initially, do not include transaction cost. Subsequently, do not deduct transaction cost. Kasi pag dinidak na yan, ano ang tawag? Fair value less cost to sell. So subsequently, 208. Initially, 200. So, fair value adjustment. Debit, equity investment. FB, TPL. Increase by 8,000. Credit, okay, fair value adjustment gain. Okay, so generally, unrealized gain. So, that gain is recognized in profit or loss. So, based on those entries, number four, how much net in profit or loss 2022? So, expense of 3,000, income of 8,000. So, income 8,000, expense 3,000. So, okay, since the investment is FBTPL, net amount in PNL, 8 minus 3. Okay, number four, letter C. <clears throat> okay, and then number five. Okay, in relation to the disposal, okay, nangyari yung sale March 31. On March 31, 2023, the, uh, the, the entity sold the investment for its fair value of 220. Transaction cost paid 3,300. So, paano nga kinocompute ang gain or loss? Net proceeds less CA. Okay, and since this one is FBTPL, okay, no need to remeasure before the disposal. Anyway, all gains and losses in profit or loss. So, entry to record the sale. Debit, cash. 220 minus 33. Okay, 220,000 minus 3,300 net. 216700 Okay, so credit the investment. So equity investment 
FB TPL, the previous fair value. That's the carrying amount. Okay, so to it. So the net proceeds less the CA, which is the previous fair value. The difference, gain or loss. And this one is gain. Gain on sale of equity investment. Okay, so that's the requirement in number five. So answer. Okay, number five, this one, letter E. <clears throat> okay, so that's the default classification. Okay, FB, TPL. Now, number six. If the entity designated the investment as fair value through OCI, the requirement net amount to be recognized in 2023, huh? profit or loss. Now, for emphasis, gawin na rin natin ang entries. Okay, so this one. Okay, so <clears throat> so bago natin gawin ng entries, ito pala. Okay, so ang question niya, ang question diyan ay 2023, no? Okay, so unlike ha, huh? unlike FBTPL kapag fair value through OCI Okay, remeasurement is required. Okay, before disposal. So just like in the previous topic, yung sa debt investment. So mas matrabaho nga pag debt. Pag debt investment, mag-amortize muna. Tapos pagka-amortize, i-remeasure. So okay, to fair value bago yung okay, uh, disposal. So after remeasurement, the fair value, ito na yung kanyang okay, carrying amount. Yan. So ito magiging carrying amount after remeasurement. Now, bakit kailangan i-remeasure before the disposal? So yun kasing change in fair value required to be recognized in OCI. Hindi katulad ng FBTPL. Anyway, all gains and losses nasa PNL. Kaya hindi mo na kailangan i-remeasure. Pero kapag FBOCI, remeasure before disposal. Okay, so kaya in effect, kung wala saan ang transaction cost, walang gain or loss in profit or loss. Okay, eh kaya lang may transaction cost. Dahil sa transaction cost na yan, syempre pag dinidak mo yan doon sa fair value, okay, which is the carrying amount, so lower yung magiging net proceeds kumpara doon sa carrying amount. So kaya yung transaction cost na yan, in effect, treated siya as what? Loss. Kasi ang transaction cost, hindi siya kasama doon sa pinaparecognize sa OCI. Eh. Yun lang change in fair value. Kaya yung transaction cost na yan, expense yan in PNL. So which is basically yung loss. So based on that, number 6, bravo. Okay, so normally ha, yung transaction cost on sale kapag kayan ay fair value through OCI, yun ang effective link loss. Okay, and again, for emphasis, gawin nga natin ang entries. So, if the investment is fair value through OCI, look at the difference, ha? Okay, so if fair value through OCI, entry on December 1. Debit, equity investment, classification, fair value through OCI. And that is fair value plus transaction cost. So, kasama ang transaction cost on initial measurement. Credit, cash. Okay. On December 31, 22, to record the remeasurement. Fair value, 208. Do not deduct also, ha? Yung transaction cost. Kasi nga, pag dinidak yan, hindi na fair value yan. Okay? Fair value less cost to sell na yan. So, subsequently, 208. Initially, 203. So, increase by 5,000. So, remeasurement entry. Debit, equity investment. Fair value through OCI. Increase by 5,000. Credit, gain. Fair value, adjustment gain or unrealized gain in general. And that gain is recognized in OCI. Okay, so kaya kung yan ay fair value through OCI, ano magiging sagot dyan sa number 4? Zero. Walang i-recognize -re in PNL. Okay, so yung change in fair value, OCI. Tapos yung transaction cost on purchase, okay, uh, 
part of the initial measurement. Okay, and then on December, on March 31, 23, as I mentioned earlier, before the sale, i-remeasure muna. At magkano yung fair value at the time of sale? 220. Okay, previously, 208. So, entry to remeasure before the disposal. Debit, equity investment at fair value through OCI. 220 less 208. So, increase by 12,000. Credit gain. So, yung gain kasi na yan, dapat nasaan? OCI. Okay. So, again, yung changes in fair value, recognized in OCI. And then, then, accumulated in equity. Okay. So, after that entry, carrying amount, 220. Naka-fair value na. Okay. Then, to record the disposal, debit, cash. So, this time, meron niyang transaction cost. So, kaya 220 minus 33 net proceeds. 216,700. Okay? So, dahil nga lower yung net proceeds dun sa carrying amount, so effectively, yung transaction cost treated as what? Loss. Loss on sale of equity investment. And that loss is recognized in profit or loss. So, kaya yan yung answer natin dyan sa number 6. Okay? And then credit, equity investment. So, after the remeasurement. So, that's 220. Okay. And since sold na, no? So, sold na itong uh, investment. Yung amount recognized in OCI, 5,000 and 12,000 accumulated in equity, pwede nang i-transfer yan to retain earnings. Okay? Pero yung transfer, ha? It's not required. It is a matter of policy. Okay? So, yung treatment dyan, para siyang revaluation surplus na pag na-realize na pwedeng ilipat sa RE, pero hindi required. Optional. <clears throat> okay? So, that's investment in ordinary shares classified as FBTPL by default and fair value through OCI by designation. So, anong na-highlight natin dyan? Initial measurement, subsequent measurement, and disposal.